What's going on YouTube? Gsm right here. So in today's video we have great news for those of you interested in Kawabanga Lite. Yes, this little application over here that allows you to install themes and some tweaks without a jailbreak on newer devices like the iPhone 10s, 10R, 12, 13 and stuff like that, even on iOS 16.5. Well, that application received some important updates. This video is brought to you by any unlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and even remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So Kawabanga Lite is based basically the light version of Kaobanka MDC or Mac 30 Cow, which allows you to install themes and tweaks and stuff like that, even if you're not jailbroken, which is definitely nice. Now, of course, Kaobanga Lite has fewer features than Kaobanga, but it does contain some important ones. For example, icon theming and status bar changes. You can change the carrier name, change the secondary carrier name, change battery display detail, change the time, the date text and stuff like that, change animations and whatever on the springboard, uh, disable auto updates and enable supervision and whatever so it does have a lot of features and it's now officially coming to Windows as well according to the developer they said quote most tweaks now work on Windows CLI or command line only missing icon theming CC customization and status bar status bar will be the most difficult to add it is a little difficult to use so I may just try to make a GUI wrapper in Python so they are in the process of porting this to Windows because right now Kawabanga Lite is only available for Mac OS now a couple of hours ago two important important updates have been released, the version 1.0.2 which adds more features, more tweaks to the application. Remember these tweaks can be done without a jailbreak whatsoever, so they work on iOS 16.5 and lower on all devices. And you can now enable a secondary carrier, secondary carrier data type, battery percentage can be changed now, Wi-Fi bar strength can be changed, change the primary and secondary GSM bar strength and stuff like that, and there is now a button that displays when an update is available. But then shortly after that a hotfix was released according to the developer, which is basically a hotfix for both Kawabanga for Mac 30 Cow and Kawabanga Lite to fix the secondary carrier strength not working when you don't have dual SIM inserted. So you should get the version 1.0.3 as soon as possible, especially since it comes with great new features. Now Kawabanga Lite requires a computer. Kawabanga for Mac 30 Cow doesn't, but Kawabanga Lite does. Once you have it running on a computer, you plug in your phone, you can go here on the Explore tab and grab some themes, and you can install them on your device without a jailbreak, do icon theming yourself you can import themes, you can change status bar stuff and whatever, and then just apply tweaks. I have a full tutorial on how to use Kawabanga Lite, so definitely check it out in the link below. But yes, definitely update your Kawabanga Lite. New features are now available. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated. I am Geosnow and peace out.